Hello everybody, this is Mystic and welcome back to my library. This is episode 20 of Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And in our last episode, we were introduced to yet another new floor here in Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, we also found another mysterious picture where I believe it was Celeste, Hafumi, and uh, Sayaka? They were in a picture together and they were looking really happy and I'm still trying to figure out what this means. The other thing we managed to do was uh, tick Kyoko off. <laughs> so I don't know if she still likes us. Um, I don't know if there's a way to remedy this situation. I'm going to try and go talk to her if I can find her um, because I, I done messed up. I didn't want to tell her about Sakura and I think that was a mistake. So... I don't know. I, I think she's mad at me right now. Uh, so let's see. We've got um, Hina, Hiro, and Byakia down here. I'm not interested in talking to them at the moment, anyway. Uh, in before I can't actually talk to... Ch oh, no, wait. That's right. This isn't free time. What am I doing? I'm not having free time right now. I have to go to the dining hall. <laughs> Whoa, Makoto. Huh? Why do you sound so surprised? <sighs> Sorry about that. It's just, if you'd gotten here even a minute earlier, it would have cost me a few minutes off my life. What? Why? You know? Because Kyoko just left. What? What? Kyoko. For serious. You know, Makoto, when a guy and a girl go at it, it shortens the lives of the people who have to watch it happen, too. How about that? And since it's me saying it, you know it's true. Hmm. So, like, hurry up and make it yep. better. Anyway, see you at breakfast. Oh my god, she's so mad at me. That's easy for him to say, but what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Apologize. Don't be a butthead. I, I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? Um, well, the breakfast meeting. That's enough. You honestly expect me to go? Right. Oh, as long as I'm here. I should ask Biakia what he made of this the stuff alter ego, alter ego told us. Um, actually, no, I'd better not. The surveillance camera would catch us for sure. What? So? Oh, um, well. Goodbye. Huh. I'm doing great this morning. I am making friends. Everybody likes me. This is great. Good morning. Uh, that's me. Good morning, hey, Hina. Makoto. Morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday you were kind of cool. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. You know when you said Alter Ego was your friend? So, um... I was thinking the same thing. But when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. You got it! So I'm really glad you said it for me. So, thanks! <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah! You're usually, like, totally normal, but when the time comes, bam! You just bust your special power out. Because, I mean... I mean, even before yesterday, when the stuff comes up, it's like, you always do something about it. Even before yesterday? Are you talking about the class trials and stuff? I mean, that stuff is... Wait, that stuff is just... It kind of just took care of itself, you know? Hmm. It totally didn't. Um, With your power and Sakura's and everyone else, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. I am right. All right. Now that we've got that fighting spirit, let's go get some grub. She's right, even if the road is long. If we don't keep on moving forward, forward we'll never reach our goal. Okay. In before Kyoko's not there, and she's dead. And I feel awful forever. Mm. She's not there. But Toko is here. Really. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. <laughs> what, what are you st staring at? Oh, Toko? What's your problem? What, you think you, your eyes will just rub by looking at me? What the heck? Fine, then don't look at me. <sighs> I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting is all. Mm. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Yeah, what made you change your mind? <laughs> Biakia said he l likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so... I'm g gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it to down into my stomach. I'll eat till I d drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Hina. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like, like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. Oh my god! <laughs> She's not even trying to hide it anymore. 
I know she said she wanted to show she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dirtlandia. You don't understand. It's the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. <laughs> Just that shut up happened? already, Hina. You have been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Huh? Filthy? Me? <laughs> don't ma make me repeat but myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. <laughs> It's no use denying it. We can also see how disgusting you are. Huh? Sh shut up! <gasps> you and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out of your out for your illicit c club meetings. What? <gasps> hey, knock it off! I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your m midnight <laughs> sex sex curricular activities only put us in even more danger. Please so stop it. You'd like me to s stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk tight. What? Going for all the extra credit. Your screams are like the s screech of a violated blackboard. And, and, ah, oh, it's amazing. Indecent ideas are c coming to me one after another. Bastard. So would you have your, wait. So would you rather have your black guy on the left or the right? Huh? Yes, huh? sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, come on. Let's leave Toko alone. She's got a little funny from all her pent-up frustration. You know? Anyway, you and Coco, Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk, I need to, talk to Sakura about it. I'm really curious what would have happened if I told Kyoko about Sakura. I'm going to have to go, and again, don't tell me. I'm going to have to go and um, watch somebody else's playthrough and see, you know, maybe if somebody else did give Kyoko the information. I don't know. I'm curious what's going to change. <laughs> Cheer up, man. It's not a big deal if a girl doesn't like you. It's better than having one sue you, like I did. Jeez, Hiro, you've lived a pretty brutal life. Huh? Ugh, I feel all dizzy. I seriously can't handle dirty stuff like that. Looks like Hina had unex had an unexpected weakness. Um, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura Sakura's heart. Are you in heat, <laughs> Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as you've got the right equip as long as they got the right equipment. Just the worst. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Well, can our talk wait until tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. Ugh. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that because of fighting with uh, Monokuma? It must be because of that battle. Um. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? I'm a protein shake. I'm a protein shake and some sleep. Wait, I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. I really need to you learn how to it. read. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys like worship protein. Is it like your god or something? Okay. Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it until tomorrow. She's in pain. Y yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. <sighs> eat? I'm kind of nervous. Huh? Huh? How come? What's your problem? Because I don't usually e e eat in front of other people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What the heck? What about your family? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my, m my mom. Huh? You had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how the things were. <laughs> That's like a serious issue. There's nothing wrong with that, hero. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How to dare you speak to me with that <laughs> disgusting mouth of yours? S stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. <sighs> Pretty miserable, miserable situation, man. <laughs> I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could, and I immediately headed back to my room. Free time. Yep, I'll have to wait until tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. So yeah, I don't... 
I wonder how this would have played out if I had told Kyoko about Sakura. I should have told Kyoko about Sakura. <laughs> I'm having regrets, but I'm not gonna change anything now. I'm committed. Um, I I don't know. I want to see if maybe Kyoko will talk to me, but I'm pretty sure she's not gonna. So I've got free time. I should go to the store. Oh, who's that? Soccer. Oh, right. Soccer is resting. She's not gonna talk to me. Uh, so I have to go to the store. Okay, they're both on the fourth floor. All right, so we're gonna go to the first floor. I don't know why I closed the map down. Why am I like this? All right, we're gonna go here. Go to the store, buy some stuff, and uh, hopefully talk to Kyoko? I don't know, I'm gonna have to bring up the gift list as well. Um, because maybe I could remedy this situation, although I'm thinking that just throwing gifts at her isn't going to help. Because, speaking from experience, if somebody is mad at you, the last thing you want to do is just throw gifts at them. Alright, let's give it a shot. Or at least that's how I am. I don't know. Um, oh, wait. How do I do this again? Oh, mouse wheel. Okay. There we go. Got an item. I don't know what the hell that is. Okay. Ugh, I'm gonna be spending a lot of coins. Oh well. I don't know what that is either. That looks like a tree. <laughs> I don't know what any of this is. Oh, hey, Lucky! Lucky! What did we get? Uh, cat dog. Oh, it had a puppy on it! Can I have that gift? <laughs> oh my god, it's getting so expensive. Don't know what that is either. More luck! Hooray! By the way, if you hear beeping, that's just my, uh... Washing machine letting me low letting me know that my laundry is done. Okay. I'll probably save the rest of the coins until I can get more. A bow? Well, that was probably for Celeste. Um, okay. How do I leave this? There we go. Okay. So I got a bunch of new stuff. I should probably get going. Alright. And now I can go to the fourth floor. Hopefully talk to Kyoko, although I bet you she's not going to talk to me. I'm I'm betting she's not going to talk to me. Okay. Kyoko? Kyoko? I'm not going to talk to Hiro just yet. Kyoko? Kyoko? Said she was on in the hall. Right? What's with the floor? All right. Hi. Haha. Oh, please talk to me. Hang on, I'm gonna save real quick. Not- that's the map, Mystic. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick. Okay. Eh. Anyway. I'm busy, I don't have time to waste. Ah. Oh, see? I- I was afraid of that. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go talk to Hero then. Hi. I don't think I even have any of Yo. your skills yet. Did you need something, Makoto? <laughs> Huh. It better not be my life. Don't kill me. Help After me. life, protect me. Makoto, kill someone if you must, but don't kill me. Uh, should I spend time with Hira while he's acting like this? I mean, nobody else is gonna talk to you. Well? Well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about cosmog- Cosmogony? Cosmogony? What? I learned all about Hero's theories on the origin of the universe. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hero a present? Yes, but I don't... Okay, hang on, guys. Give me one minute. I need to bring up my gift list. Because I don't remember what Hero likes. Okay. I'm back. This was named something else on the guide that I was using. It was called a Tamagushi on, uh, on the present guide that I was using. But this is something that um, Hero would like. So I am going to give him this. 
Huh? Such mysterious power. This is a true blue O part. O O part. <laughs> what? Makoto, the dawn of a new era, draws near. Seeing Hiro so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Could it be? Hey, Makoto, you know what I think? You and me meeting like this, it wasn't a coincidence. Hmm. So I've got some good news for you. I'm going to give you a psychic reading at a huge discount. A discount? How about that? Normally, it's a thousand bucks for two hours, but for you, I'll let it, I'll call it 900. That's only a hundred dollar discount. Even then, that's way too expensive. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. You should count yourself lucky that the ultimate clairvoyant is willing to tell your future. So, are you right pretty often? Well, I sure am. At the bare minimum, I've got a 20% chance of accuracy. You said 30% yesterday. 20%? That sounds pretty sketchy. What the heck? For real? Don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? 20% of the time, I'm right. Every time. That includes natural disasters, election results, you name it. Don't you realize how amazing that is? Um. How about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. What? When did you see it? Well? <laughs> you won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. But we don't have children. I refuse. Denied. Don't like it. I'm right. Doesn't right? matter if you don't like it. That's just the way it is. 20% accuracy, you said? You know? At least. I pray to everything holy that you're wrong. Please be wrong. <laughs> now then, since that was a special trial run, I'm afraid I can't apply the discount. That'll be $1,000, please. Don't worry, you can pay me after we get out of here. Wait, hold on. But there's no way you're going to be right, right? Hmm. If you like, I could do a reading right now to see whether my reading was right or not. Naturally, additional fees will apply. <laughs> Think about it, okay? Let me know as soon as you're ready for my services. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he's gone. Do I have enough in my bank account to take another crack at it? No, I can't bring myself to pay for something like that. I can see how people could fall into that kind of cycle, though. That was close. Please, whoever's listening, I'm begging you. Whatever else happens, don't let him be right. Hero's report card has been updated. You just unlocked the skill Lost in Thought. Okay. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. Okay. Uh, but first, we're going to save again. Because saving is important. Okay. Leave the area. Yes. Okay. So, I still can't talk to Kyoko. <laughs> this sucks. And I probably still can't talk to Sakura, right? So, who am I going to... Oh. Everybody's down here now. Okay. I could talk to Hina. I bet I can't talk to Kyoko. I mean, I could try, but she's probably not going to talk to me. I could talk to Byakuya. Or Toko, because Toko is Toko right now. Toko, I might want to talk to Toko. Because I can't get a gift talking to uh, Genocide Jill, but... Aw, oh, dang it! No! Why did you have to go and sneeze? <laughs> No, it is not a good idea to... Uh, when did you turn back into Genocide Jack? Why are you like this? Alright, let me go see if, if Kyoko will talk to me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is. Okay. Go away. She won't even look at me. I guess she doesn't even want to see my face. Kyoko, please! Ugh... I'm the worst. I really want to know what would have happened if I had told her. But at the same time, I don't want to know because I don't want to have it spoiled. All right. So I can't talk to Toko. Can't talk to Hiro. Um, do I even have anything for Hina on the report? Like, I mean, do I have any of her skills? I know I have Byakia. Yeah, I've got something for him. But he's dead. I got, just got his. Owie. I do have owies. Okay. Um, I have everybody's at this point. So you know what? Let's go talk to Hina. <sighs> okay. Eat 
each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. We gotta, we gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Hmm. Should I hang out with Hina? Yeah. Yeah. You wanna go for a run to release some of this stress? Hina and I went for a light run throughout the school. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a gift? Yes, but I don't know what to give her. So again, I will be right back as I figure this out. Okay, looks like she likes this. So I will give her the Astral Boy doll, which according to the other guide that I was reading is called the Radio Boy doll in maybe in Japanese. I don't know. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Ah. I mean, not like, 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 not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Just a second. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps, run a marathon. I want to have some run, do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? What the heck? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible. Whatever. I'm going to die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have a six sports team? Would I have joined six sports teams in school? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? She got into her main sport but ran out of juice. I think it's got to be swimming. Your main sport is swimming, right? Hmm. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't that hard? Isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? Well, if I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? Cuz I mean, what I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you've got to reach the top. Isn't that excite It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But when you finally reach the goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she how hard she can fight and struggle. Um, so that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. Did she just call herself? Okay, but what if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Excuses? Just a second. Hey, when did I ever make excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? <gasps> that's that's a challenge. You just made an official challenge. Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. All right, I think I'm going to go do some push-ups in my room, like maybe around a 1,000 or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She re recovered exactly as fast and as strong as I would have expected. All right. Maximum number of skill points has increased. Cool. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room. Attention, right. attention, please gather in the gym oh. as soon as you possibly can. I was about to cut him off. I thought this was the... Quickly, 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 quickly. Um. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it, too. Oh, boy. Let me save. Okay. The gym. No, wait. The gym is on the next floor, right? Let me just take the map there. Okay. Yeah, it's on this floor. wonder what's happening. I hate when the music gets creepy like this. Wait. The gym is on this floor, right? No, that's that. Did I go the wrong way? No. Isn't the gym on the... Use the map, Mystic. Use the map. Yeah, it's here. Did I go the wrong way? I think I... <laughs> How do I not know this yet? Hang on. I think I walked right by it. 
That's the exit. I'm pretty sure I walked right by it. Yeah, I did. I did. I walked right by it. GG. Okay. All right, Sakura's here. Huh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you going to go in? However... I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura? Well, then... Makoto, if something happens to me... Hina... Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then... I... I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um, Sakura? What is happening? What hap- what? What is happening? Oh no. I think she's about to get outed as the, as the spy. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. <sighs> well? Okay, let's get this show on the road. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? Hmm? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Uh, is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again? <laughs> no, no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about a motive. Today, the I'm reason feeling black. The reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge, a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop reading. Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Biakia, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words... Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. Oh, crap on a crap cracker. What? Hey. So um... guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What, what? what did you just say? <laughs> he said the spy is Sakura. What? What are you talking about? You're a liar. There's there's no way Sakura's a spy. Um, right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> and I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Thrills, chills, kills. Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Huh? Um. What the heck? So what does that mean? What? What? Is, is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way. <laughs> but that is well, what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. Well, he's wrong. wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Oh, no. Then he was being serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. <laughs> so you've been lying to us all this time? Huh? It's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's got to be some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice to do what she was told. Yeah. What? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know for a fact. I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say... She decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. You saw all that. The Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made your mind to be made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. What? 
which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who can who we can trust without question. Is that it? Hmm. Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. Hmm. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff, and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay then, Sakura. If you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell me who. Tell us who they really are. <gasps> Well, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. But please. She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Don't make me repeat my Shut thing. up. I'm not finished questioning her. Come on. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? Ugh. I was told <clears throat> to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. You're wrong. You're I'm wrong. telling you, Sakura would never do that. What the heck? Y you, you don't have to yell. We could hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible. It's because you're not listening to me. Wait. Please stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. Ugh. I have to take full responsibility for this. However. How do you intend to do that? <sighs> By destroying the mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on. What do you mean if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But, but... Sakura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym, and then... Um... <clears throat> this as such, soon the doors to the di- Okay, okay. Then. It's nighttime. Not giving us a lot of time to talk this <clears throat> over. Well, it's nighttime. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is... Don't make me repeat Over. Myself. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible! No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. What is this? Th that's... Calm down. Let's go for now, Hina. Or let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? But, but anyway, go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Hmm. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakia said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? No, my problem, though, is maybe I should have confided in, in Kyoko. Because she could have helped me with this. And now she doesn't trust me either. As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues. Even a soccer player touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear. Um, good for you? Good morning, everyone. Get ready to... I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. See, my concern right now is that somebody is going to kill Hina and obviously pin it on Sakura. Um, that's, that's kind of my guess at the moment, but I feel like it's too early for another murder. They don't usually happen this soon. Uh, let me check the map. I guess everybody is... Oh. Can I talk to you now? Do you understand why I didn't say anything? Please? Like, seriously? For reals? Can we talk? Kyoko, good morning. Ugh! 
Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. <sighs> well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. I'm trying! All right. Hina's missing, right? No. Uh, um. Uh, Makoto, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Toko? Byakyo? What are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind's... Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one in the the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. The threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy from the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. Wh what did you stupid. say? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible. It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said. An eye for an eye. However. That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words, in other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But... That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can you guys... How can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> If she could really beat the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot, you really want, you're you'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> Interesting. It wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Biakia. Hmm. In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Smack. Ooh. What the hell? He had that coming. You disgust me. You're you're a monster. To say something like that, it should have been you. Ooh. You should have been the one to die. What? I should have died? Hm. Interesting. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works around here after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> That's the stupid cow! How dare she! She should deny a thousand deaths! No, a million! <laughs> she was just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings, Biakia, and all you can do is mock them for it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning? Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> so, um, you know, uh, um, how about we, uh, eat? Or maybe now's not a good time? You know? <laughs> Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. How am I going to have free time? Nobody's going to talk. Whew. So what should I do today? Gee, I, I, I honestly have no idea, Makoto. Like, I, I do not. I do not know. I don't know what to tell you, man. Okay. I really want to try and talk to Kyoko. Like, she's got to understand now why I didn't tell her. Ugh. Where are you? Nobody is... Okay. Where the heck is everyone? Oh. Everybody's upstairs. Okay. Ugh. Alright, Kyoko. Wait. 
Oh, I did teleport. Never mind. Okay. Let's, uh... I still want to try talking to Kyoko. I'm starting to feel a little stalkery. I'm not going to lie. But I need to try and fix this. Here she is. Please talk to me. Come on. Uh, please. Anyway. Who the heck am I going to talk to then? Nobody wants to talk to me anymore. Maybe I'll, uh, I mean, all right. Maybe I'll go talk to Hina, I guess. I don't know. Wait, Sakura. Sakura is in the chem lab. I don't remember. Here it is. It's right here. I don't know if she's going to talk to me either, to be honest, but let's try it. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. Uh, yes? I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you'll still stand by me? <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. Well, at least you're going to talk to me, unlike some people. Without saying a word, I stood by Sak Sakura. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a gift? Yes, I do. And I'm pretty sure those bindings are hers. Uh, where were they? I'm going to confirm it once I... Yeah, these. I'm pretty sure those are hers. Let me find them on here. They're called something else. Sara, Sarashi. It's that. Let me just look up what a Sarashi is, but I'm pretty sure that... Yep, that's what those are. Okay. I am gonna give these to her then. You really want to give me something so splendid? You know, I'm not quite sure why, but somehow you remind me of him. I'm sorry. Sorry, forget I said that. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> anyway, I feel a little better now. Thank you. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Okay. But I didn't get any skills! Dang it! I have plenty of time. Ugh. I didn't get anything for that! Kyoko won't talk to me. Maybe, um, maybe Toko is Toko right now? Be, that would be swell. Oh, everybody's down here now. Okay. Who's on the, who's in the hallway? Um, actually, let's try Toko. Maybe, maybe she's not Genocide Joel right now. Be, that'd be great. Oh my god, you're not Genocide Jill. Hi. Let's talk. When are we ever going to get out of here? Not that I don't have much to look forward to if I did get out. Um, yeah, let's... let's. What's your problem? What? More p pity? Aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity? I spent some time with Toko. What's with that face? Yes. But I gotta look up what I have to give her now. Alright. One second. Oh, man. I really don't have anything good for her. There was one thing at the beginning, I think. I think there was something at the beginning that she likes but doesn't love. So I guess I can give her that. Um... I think it was rose hip tea, actually. One second. Uh, rose hip tea. It would have been great for Celeste, but Toko does like it. She doesn't hate it. And since Celeste is dead, I can give this to Toko. What's your problem? If it's really okay for me to have it, I'll I'll take it. But I'm not gonna give it back. I get the impression she liked it. That's good. I didn't get any skills for her either. Gosh darn it, that was a wash. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. Soon the doors to the dining. Okay then. Good night. All right. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Well, you jinxed it. I don't even get a chance to save. Although, didn't I just? What is going on in this setting? 
After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should be a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about we make you an extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I want to go. Si I don't want to go sideways and backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, you just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. But so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's somehow leg but it's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light-speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Okay, so he didn't talk about murder, which is making me think that nobody died. Usually he talks about murder. Or killing or something. Usually. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to greet. Okay. I need to do something about Sakura. I'd better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. But first, we're going to save. Okay. Leave the area. Ah! Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh no. Is somebody dead? I'm not ready for this. Uh, this seems too soon. <laughs> Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Uh... Look! Hiro's finger shook as he pointed. Hina! Um. Uh... Are you okay? What happened? She... She killed her. She's not dead. Genocide Jill killed Hina! But she's alive. You gotta be kidding! No, no, no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Well, why? What happened? Uh... Well, Toku and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table and that led to a sneeze. You Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. Uh... And look at my shapely <laughs> collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Can we not? Mm, totally not adorable. Anyway, you totally non-adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. My I'll start cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, hero, help me. Uh, um... Sure thing. <laughs> um. Genocide Jack's abrasive last laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you feeling better? Yeah, it, it was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know? Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura? What? At first, I just tried to ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time to let you left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... What the heck? Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because, because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of, bink? The brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's open. Oh my god, I cannot read. Office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off the hinges. And there, she stood before us. Hina. Hina. Huh? Sakura? Ugh. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, Nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto, hero, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Genocide Jill. It's all that demented, demented murderous fiend's fault. Oh, oh God. Damn. To hurt Hina. Damn you. To leave me alone, but hurt her. 
What is this? How dare you? What is this? <laughs> I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. <sighs> oh god, she's going Super no Saiyan now. Unforgivable. I can't forgive this. <sighs> Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I don't I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Why? Uh, Somebody save me! But why are we attacking Hero? Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office, but just a second later, what's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... Ugh. I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! Here, Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only un ones left were... Yeah, this is gonna go well. Can I talk to you now, please? Alright, wait. Saving. Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It, it's fine. Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier? It doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's why you were thinking, and... That's what you were thinking and why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. <laughs> what? What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides... And I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's forget about it. Okay. Thank you. Um... <sighs> That issue we discussed earlier doesn't matter anymore. I want to talk to you about something else. Okay. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, let's get going. With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Kyoko! I hurried to catch up to her. What's happening? She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her. And eventually we arrived. Oh. The dressing room? So there's something else you mentioned? Indeed. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring the others to come see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Eager wants to... Eager, why do I keep saying eager? Ego wants to ask us something? All right, do I talk to you or do I talk to the laptop? I guess I talk to the laptop. Okay. Um. Hello. Oh, um, it's just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers slided, glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ask Indeed. us? Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? So, um... Oh yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? Well, that's dangerous! What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, Why? Yes, well, um... You said my job was done, right? But to just stop here? Saying I finished my work? But I don't want that. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else that we can all get out of here. That's right. That's what Ma Master would want, too. So, to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of this school? That's right. The only way I can help is if you connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the Mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? I realized how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but 
I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... but still. When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. I'm if it's for the sake of everyone that. else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed. Too admirable. Too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah? Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko? I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But, but... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration, and he says he wants to fight alongside his friends. No. If you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. So, um... Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in I... myself. Okay, she already said that. I want to be able to say, I know you can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember? There's another place besides here where there's no surveillance cameras. The secret room. Right? That's it. The secret room you told me about. It de I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera Indeed. in there. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an Ethernet par port on the wall. However... However, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the Mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. Or seeing you go into the bathroom. We'll also have to move Alter Ego, and the Mastermind may spot us going to the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I think we need to try. Correct. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko, in that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay, then. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then... Then let's get started. It's going to be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. <laughs> ha! It tickles. Shh! You can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. G good To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. But isn't it going to be obvious if we both go into the boys' bathroom? Um... Okay. I think this is where I'm going to stop, guys. I'm going to leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger. And we will see what happens in the next episode. So, first of all, I'm glad Kyoko's talking to me again. That's nice. That's good. Feels, feels good, man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we are going to stop here. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave me a like and subscribe if you have not. You can also click the bell to know when my videos go live. And you can join the Discord server and follow me on Twitter. And I have all sorts of channel updates posted there. So, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I will see you next week for more Rampa. Bye.